this is part two of the Born Pretty store um, PR products they sent me to test out and try out. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to go ahead and play around with the solid nail tips gel. It did settle down already and I just left it out on my desk and I got a little bit of that metallic silver there. So I'm going to have to remove that. Okay, so with this goes along this. I just wish they would have sent me like a little instructions card because I have no idea how this works. So I'm just going to go ahead on their website and look at that and go buy that. These are if you want to do like a French nail design or you could use this as a glue like to adhere 3D nail art and no sticky hands easy to operate easy to it says easy to extend your nails these are the different colors they have a clear a uh, light pinkish white pinkish like a baby pink like a Barbie light pink and then this peachy color which that's the one I have and, oh it, it says if it arrives hard like this let me see if I could get a closer look put the little container sealed I would suggest you guys put it like in a little Ziploc bag and then put it in warm water for about 10 minutes and then it'll settle down. So I didn't have to do that because you know, I live in a sunny state. So, and I left it out. So it did it all on its own. Um, these are the tips they have. I guess they have the coffin shape and the stiletto shape or the almond shape, the almond shape. I have the almond shape they have let's see the sizes they have okay so here they are there are 12 different sizes it goes from 0 to 11 they did send me two of each that's good okay so let's see what else they have here and then the instructions if I want to do it like a French nail design and file your nails apply a base gel on your nails cure it and then apply the solid nail gel onto the tip and create like a little nail bed I guess and then press it onto your nails cure it in the lamp and then you proceed with drawing the French tip then cure that then apply the top coat cure it and you're finished okay so let's see how to use first let me find my size okay so I'm gonna go ahead and apply base coat onto my nails I already clean, buff, filed. Actually, I'm gonna do like the thumb first. Make sure this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get the gel. I'm just using my the spatula and uh, my poly gel brush. I guess this indicates how much you're supposed to put of this gel, so that's a good helpful tip. And then I'm just going to pat it. It did not say if I could use alcohol to pat it down, you know, like poly gel. I don't think you're supposed to pat it down. So we're just like supposed to... Where did I put it? I don't know where I put it. Okay, let's see. I didn't want to put a lot by the cuticle area because you know it will spread when you put it down. Okay, it's spreading. Ooh. And it says to clean up, like with a brush. Oh, okay. I would have had to like put some I moved that away from the lamp put some alcohol but I guess not oops make sure it is when you press it down it feels firm
Okay, let's see this. Cover it up before I turn the lamp on. And that is how it came out. Okay. And that's how it looks so far. So let me cure this. There's no need to hold because it doesn't move like poly gel. So that's really cool. And there it goes. I cured it for one minute. I did have some spillage around the cuticle area, so I'm just going to have to file that off. But it looks pretty cool. It's not too thick underneath. So let me go ahead and do the rest. Let me apply base coat. one came out perfect just a little bulky down here but I could just file that off Ew. it does get a little heat spike when you cure it Ooh. and that was only like 30 seconds okay moving on moving on To the next one before I cure it out. So the last one because they don't move anywhere so I'm good to go. there it goes they did not come out like little perfect french nail beds but we could just paint over the tip and it won't be noticeable let me cure this in the lamp okay so here it is out of the lamp just cleaning it off if there's sticky residue i did like two minute cure just in case So I'm now going in with Born Pretty and the shade. I lost the number, but it's a white.
So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the 90 cap magnetic gel polish. It's a very pretty color. Here is the finished look, quick design that I came up with, came out super cute. I love animal print, any type of animal print, especially this one, the leopard spots, or cheetah, how people want to call it, and the zebra print. Those two are my favorite to paint, they're super easy. I lo I'm loving the length of these nails. I can't rock long nails all the time, but hey, I'm going to rock these because I'm going to test out the solid nail tips gel to see how long they last I did paint over it this is the color like a peachy nude um, I have to go ahead and like file it because a little bit bulky because I put too much gel but other than that tip is really nice sturdy doesn't budge so let's put that to the test to see how long it will last so if you guys are interested on any products from Born Pretty Store I will leave a link down below to each of the products so you guys can just go ahead and click that link it'll take you directly to those um products and i will see you guys in the next one bye